Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Who all do I have on headset? Beverly, this is Aaron. House is yours. House is yours. Beverly, lights are ready. Ready to go on your queue. Chad, is the camera crew ready? Cody, Jonathan, you good? Camera's ready. Yep, ready here. We're good, Bev. How are you doing backstage? I've got the concert master, Michael Huff, in place. Elizabeth Brown Ellis is set to do the pre-show announcement. Oh, and the CEO of the Civic Center, Abe Ambrosa, is here. Nice. I'm sure he's glad to have activity going on again in Krauss Hall. But I still haven't seen Maestro Crust yet. Let me go check. Yeah, we're getting close to going live. I promised Elizabeth we'd get this started on time. No sign of the maestro, but there is this odd guy with white hair back here milling around. Mm, that is odd. Yeah, maybe call security, but we gotta go. Okay, Elizabeth is talking to that white-haired guy right now, but we can't start without the maestro. Bev, we need to get going. Send the concertmaster out to start tuning. I'm sure Andrew will show up. This makes me nervous, but okay. Chad, fade to black, going live in five, four, three. No, Chad, wait. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Lima Symphony Orchestra Family Concert. Unfortunately, we have been unable to locate our maestro, Andrew Crust, for today's performance. But thankfully, we will instead be led by Maestro Chromo Shekel, who just happened to be in the building. Please join me in welcoming Maestro Chromo Shekel to our stage.
I'm so sorry. Listen, I, I, was, I was in my dressing room. I was getting ready for this concert and before I knew it, somebody whacked me in the back of the head. I have no idea what happened. I blacked out and next thing I know, I wake up and I'm, I'm tied up with all of this, this rope. I can't move. And then the worst possible thing happened. I heard the concert starting without me. I, I just couldn't handle that. I, I pulled and I tugged and I, and I got myself free and I made it, here I am. But honestly, I have no idea who could have done such a thing? That's a brilliant idea. I think we need an expert to help us solve this mystery. You know what? This might just be a case for the legendary Sherlock Holmes. And it just so happens, I think I've got his number on speed dial because you never know when you might need to solve a mystery. So let's see, let's give him a call here. Hello. Yes, yes, there's an emergency. Yes, I'll hold. Yes, hello. I'm wondering uh, how we might be able to get Sherlock Holmes out here. I'm sorry, he charges what? Well, I guess we needed a new capital campaign anyway. Listen, this is absolutely important, so let's get him here as soon as humanly possible. Yes, we're located in Lima. No, 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 not, not Peru. Uh, Lima, Ohio. Like the bean. Someone called for a detective? Yes, welcome. Maestro My name is- Maestro Crust, I presume. The new music director, yes? Well, how did you know that? Elementary, my dear Maestro Crust. You see, the first giveaway is your age. Young music directors are all the rage nowadays. That hot shot look on the podium. And then pair that, of course, with your style. My style? Ah, uh, yes, your style. Ditching the traditional look of a white tie and the long, elegant tails, you've gone with a sleeker look. The long, straight tie, almost like you're going to a funeral, but not quite so depressing. Pair that with the facial hair, the nice jawline follow. Very trendy nowadays, but there's a sense of internationalism to you, I'd guess. Probably not American, perhaps somewhere a little colder since his weather doesn't seem to be bothering you. I would guess Canada. Then of course, there's the look on the faces of all the musicians right around here. For some reason, they seem to look quite fondly upon you, though I don't know why any musician would ever look fondly upon a conductor, really. But then there are the marks upon your wrist. It looks like some form of struggle. I would guess somebody has tied you up. And judging by your telephone call, the emergency is the concert was started without you on the podium. That's amazing and spot on. Well, what can I say? I am the great Sherlock Holmes after all. So I think our first step would be to deduce a list of suspects. Maestro Crust and Orchestra, are there any people who would potentially want to kidnap the music director? <laughs> At a time, one at a time, we'll have time to search all of the suspects. Why don't we start first up here in the front? I bet it was the brass section that kidnapped him. Ah, the brass. Interesting. And what makes you say that? Well, last concert we were playing this big symphony and Maestro Crust kept telling them to play softer and softer. They seemed very insulted. Ah, 
yes, the brass, our shiny metallic friends, always playing fanfares and brilliant blares on their horns, from the trumpets to the horns, the trombones to the lone wolf, the ever suspicious tuba. Buzzing their lips into their metal mouthpieces, they create vibrations which produce sound. But maybe this time they've used those metal mouthpieces to whack a poor maestro on the back of the head and kidnap him. Well, what say you, brass? Did you kidnap the maestro? No! There is no, no way, way we could have done that. Of course not. Well then, surely you must have an alibi. There's no way we could have kidnapped the maestro. We've all been too busy working on Light Cavalry Overture by Supe. The piece requires a lot of loud brass and endurance. We've been practicing all week. We didn't have time to kidnap the maestro. Well, if that's the case, then you should be able to play the Light Cavalry Overture no problem without a single sign of fatigue. Maestro? I agree. Let's hear it, Brass. Thank you. 
Well, that was pretty impressive, and they don't seem tired at all. You're right, that was rather impressive, and they don't seem exhausted whatsoever. Well, in that case, Brass, if you didn't do it, then who else could have kidnapped the maestro? I'll bet it was the woodwind section that kidnapped him. Why is that? Well, last week we were playing this tricky scherzo, and the maestro kept telling them they need to play faster and faster and faster. They looked very angry. Ah, whether it's fancy flourishes or beautiful bird calls, the woodwinds always impress. Of course, they have small wooden reeds which they blow on, creating vibrations which in turn produce sound. But the bassoons, the clarinets, the oboes, and the flute, wait, the flutes. Flutes are not made of wood. Well, Woodwinds, if you're willing to lie about that, what else might you be lying about? What say you, Woodwinds? Did you kidnap the maestro? Oh, come on, give me a break. Oh, no. Well, in that case, you must have an alibi. There's no way we could have kidnapped the maestro. We've been too busy practicing our parts from the scherzo from Mendelssohn's Midsummer Night's Dream. The piece has a lot of really fast notes that require us to tongue really fast. We've been practicing all week long. We didn't have time to kidnap the maestro. Well, in that case, you should be able to play Mendelssohn's scherzo flawlessly with all of its fancy flourishes. Maestro? Let's hear it, Woodwinds. Well, that was definitely fast, and I can see it would have required a lot of practice. Yes, indeed. Very well, Woodwinds. You clearly practiced and could not have kidnapped the maestro. But in that case, who could it have been? You know, maybe it wasn't anyone in the orchestra at all. Maybe it was somebody more behind the scenes. Hmm. Yes, an interesting theory. Perhaps someone from the stage crew or the staff, someone that never sees the stage at all, off stage, and was yearning for the beautiful sensation of the spotlight. Why don't we investigate a little bit backstage? <laughs>
Well, unfortunately, that didn't lead to any new resolutions. The staff and crew were far too busy preparing chairs, lights, and all the set pieces for this evening's production. <sighs> but in that case, if it wasn't the staff or crew, who else could have kidnapped the maestro? I bet it was the string section that kidnapped him. Interesting. Why do you say the strings? Well, last week we were playing the sultry serenade, and the maestro asked them to play with much more vibrato. They seem really ticked off about that. Ah, the strings, the largest of all the families in the orchestra. The violins, the violas, the celli, and the bass. Armed with their bows, they draw them across the strings, creating vibrations which in turn produce sound. But maybe in this instance, they used that string to tie up innocent music directors. Well, what say you, strings? Did you kidnap the maestro? <laughs> In that case, you must have an alibi. There is no way we could have kidnapped the maestro. We have all been busy working on Tchaikovsky's Serenade for Strings. The piece requires us to play with such beautiful and rich tone. We've been practicing all week long. We didn't have time to kidnap the maestro. Uh, well, in that case, you should be able to play Tchaikovsky's Serenade with the most beautiful and lush sound I have ever heard. Maestro? I agree. Let's hear it, strings.
Well, that was fantastic and a truly beautiful tone. Yes, that was indeed quite elegant. Well, in that case, if it wasn't the strings, then who else could have kidnapped the maestro? I bet it was the percussion section. Ah, the percussion. And what makes you say that? Well, last week we were playing this prickly piece and Maestro Crust kept telling them they were messing up the complex rhythms. They seemed very angry. Mm, the percussion, yes, it is a section full of troublemakers. The percussion are armed, whether it's with their hands, sticks, or mallets, ready to pounce and strike upon different surfaces, creating vibrations, and in turn, producing sound. But perhaps this time the surface that they struck was not a drum head, but the poor head of our innocent music director. Well, what say you, percussion? Did you kidnap the maestro? No! What? No of way! Course not. not a chance! No! Well, then surely you must have an alibi. There's no way we could have kidnapped the maestro. We've been too busy working on this Fossils from Carnival of Animals by Sansons. We have to play 23 different percussion instruments, which keeps us really, really busy. We've been working on it all week. No way do we have time to kidnap the maestro. Well, in that case, you should be able to perform fossils flawlessly in all its rhythmic accuracy. Maestro, let's hear it, percussion. Very impressive. They didn't miss a single rhythm. Indeed, that did seem very accurate. But in that case, who could have kidnapped the maestro? Mr. Sherlock Holmes, it appears that you are the only suspect left. But, but you can't possibly be implying that I would kidnap the maestro. I, I, well, why would I do such a... But plus, you invited me here. Well, you did arrive here very quickly after we called. And I've been noticing you eyeing this orchestra. I think that you want a chance to conduct these incredible musicians. <laughs> and on top of that, there's a bow tie hanging out of your pocket. What? Uh, oh, uh, well, no, I, I can explain. This, I have a fancy dinner party later on this evening. But anyways, I can't believe that I would be a suspect. Why would I want to conduct the orchestra? Could you imagine standing here on this silly box and being in front of this group of world-class musicians? What? Just so that I could reach my arms out? Don't you do it. 
to what? This? <laughs> Oh, oh, please, I, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I, 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 I give up, I give up, I'll explain everything. Why did you do it, Sherlock? Well, you see, as a young boy, I've always dreamed of standing here and conducting in front of the Lima Symphony. Oh, but alas, despite all the mysteries I may have solved in my life, the one I could never grasp was how to become a professional conductor. And, and, and I... The, the opportunity to stand here and, and the applause of the audience. I, I'm sorry, I, I promise, I, I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Well, I suppose I do understand. This Lima Symphony Orchestra is, is a fantastic group of musicians and anybody would dream to conduct them. And you didn't actually hurt anyone. Well, as for becoming a conductor, it's actually quite simple. It's like anything else. You just have to practice. Would you like me to show you? You, you would do that for me, yes. Sure, yes, sure. You look at the musicians in front of you, put your hand up in the air, you go to the floor, to the door, to the wall, and to the ceiling. Floor, door, wall, ceiling. Got it? You got it. Why don't we all try it together?
Bravo, everybody. Great job. Oh, well, that was incredible. I oh, thank you so much, and I am sorry again about the whole kidnapping thing. I do hope we can put that all behind us. Uh, I suppose we can. Oh, thank you. Uh, say, by the way, before I leave, I was wondering, I've always been a huge fan of the composer Beethoven. Is there any chance you might be up for playing one more piece? Uh, perhaps it would give you an opportunity to demonstrate some of your more advanced conducting techniques. Absolutely. And you know what? How about joining in? Would you like that? Ah, uh, it would be my pleasure. Thank you all so very much. Let's give a round of applause to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. And how about another round of applause for our fantastic Lima Symphony Orchestra. And a very special thanks to our exclusive underwriter, Web Insurance, for making this concert possible. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.